Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at Mojave Server. And we're going to look specifically this week at Profile Manager and how to enroll your devices into Profile Manager. Now this is in the middle of a series that I've been doing on Mac OS Server for Mojave. And so if you go to the channel, you'll see a playlist that have the other videos that I've done in the series to get you up to this point. So if you're not sure how we got here, that's because I've covered that in another screencast. But what we're going to do is take a look at the device enrollment now for Profile Manager. Now one of the things that I am doing in this walkthrough is I'm walking through the server at its basic level. So we're dealing with the services that are right in front of us. We're not dealing with the advanced services yet. So you may notice in previous screencasts, I've walked through a process of setting up DNS and then setting up open directory and those sorts of things. What I'm doing right now is just going through at its base level, how would you manage uh, your devices using Profile Manager? And then I'll back into a few of the more advanced pieces that you can add into Mojave Server. So in this case, as you can see, we have Profile Manager sitting right here, and you can see that we've got uh, the fact that it is reachable over the internet. Uh, now, there is a difference when we're on our local network, and I'll show you that in a minute. But down here, you can see we've got My Devices and Profile Manager. And what I'm going to want to do is open the My Devices area on my iOS device or on my Mac. I could click this to open it in Safari, and it's going to open a Safari window on the server itself. Or what I can do is just go to uh, this address up here that I have set up with the server name.com with the uh, slash and then put in my devices if I want to go straight to the my devices screen or I can also put in profile manager if I want to do that as well. Now if I'm on my local network what I'm going to do is just use the local name of my server so whatever I've called that on my local network so in my case it's just going to be uh, todds-imac.local and so I'll show you that. So if you're if you're locally on your network, we don't have any DNS set up. So you can't actually use your host name on your local network. You're going to have to use either the local uh, name of your device that has the server on it, or you're going to have to use the local IP address, one or the other. So what I'm going to do is go over to an iOS device and show you how to enroll my iPhone. Okay, so here I am over on my iPhone, and I've gone to my server site, which will be whatever your host name is with a forward slash for my devices. And so here I am again on my iOS device. So I'll show you how to enroll this. What I need to do first is to log in. Uh, what you may want to do is, uh, you know, create a local user that you use generically, let's say, to have people log in to do their profiles if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, I will show you later in another screencast how you can set up an open directory if you wanted to do that yourself. Uh, but it might be good just to have a name there that you use for all of your devices. Uh, that might be, you know, some kind of uh, a dummy account so that you can use that to log into the services because at that point then you'll be managing the devices individually on Profile Manager and the actual username won't matter so much. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and log into the My Devices site here and I'm just going to use the username and password that I have uh, for my uh, Mac. Okay so now that I've entered the information I'm just going to tap here uh, next. It's going to ask if I want to save the password. I'm just going to say not now. And as you can see here, I'm on the My Devices screen, and I, it says this is my iPhone, and it's got this big Enroll button. But what I want to do is before I enroll, I need to install a profile so that this iOS device will trust my server. So if I just tap on the Profiles tab there, you can see there's the Trust Profile for my uh, server. If I just tap on Show Contents, you can see that it's going to install a certificate right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on Install, and it's just going to say it's going to open up my settings to install configuration profile. So it's just a warning here asking me if I want to do that. I'm just going to tap on allow. And so now it's going to ask me to choose a device. So I can install this profile on my iPhone or my Apple Watch because it detects that I have an Apple Watch because I can manage the Apple Watch through Profile Manager as well. So in this case, it's going to be the iPhone. So I'm going to tap on iPhone. And it's taking me to a profiles area where I can install the profile. And you see here it's going to contain two certificates. If I just tap on more details, it'll give me information on that. So it's going to install a uh, server uh, certificate authority root and a profile manager device identity right there. So if I'm just going to tap back, and we're just going to go ahead and say install. Notice that it's not signed. So what that means is that I don't have uh, my server confirmed by some third-party service that... Uh, 
uh, vouches for my identity, and that's okay because I know it's my server. But if you're doing this, let's say, for other users, maybe you want to uh, purchase a certificate that you would use. Right now I'm just using the unsigned certificate that I have. So I'm going to tap on Install, and so it's going to ask me to enter my passcode. And once I do that, it's going to show me what it's going to install. I'm going to tap on Install on the upper right there and install again. And so now it's installed those profiles. And if I just tap on Done at the top, it's going to take me right back into the My Devices website. Now that I've done that, all I need to do is come back to Devices here. And I'm just going to tap on Enroll. And again, it's going to say it's going to install some uh, configuration profiles. Tap on Allow there. And so now it's going to install the remote management, which is two certificates. And if I just, again, tap on the details, you can see there's device management for my uh, server uh, name there. Uh, there's device creden credentialed requests. And then down below, you can see, and those two things make up that mobile management. Down below, I've got my profile manager device identity and my server certificate root authority. So I'm going to tap back, and we're just going to tap on install. Again, I'm going to enter my passcode. And so now it's going to install it. It's giving a warning that says, hey, this is going to give an administrator who's not you access to your device to control it. Are you sure you want to do that? So yes, I'm going to tap install. And so trust the remote management. Yes. So I tap on trust. And so now it's installing the profile and now it's done. And when I tap done, you'll notice that now what it does when I go to the My Devices screen, it shows my iPhone there, but it also shows my serial number and it's giving me the option to lock the device, which I can do from any web browser. I can clear the passcode so that it's uh, cleared or I can even wipe the device just by tapping this. So it's important to know that that's right there that you have access to that. And again, you can do this from any web browser, which is the nice thing. So if you lose your device and you go, oh no, someone's got my device, maybe it's got sensitive information on it, I can wipe it remotely right through the website so that when someone oh, tries to open the phone, it's going to wipe all the information off of it right away. Uh, you'll see too, I can always remove the device just with a little remove button right next to where it says this iPhone. So that shows you how to enroll an iOS device in Profile Manager. What I'm going to do is show you how to do that for a Mac, and we'll take a look at what it looks like on the Profile Manager website as well. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.